Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create and print your click track in Logic Pro. Right, let's dive in. So this one was quite frustrating actually for me. It took me ages to figure this out and I'm going to share this knowledge with you now. Now the first thing you want to be able to do is make sure that your click track is enabled on playback. So when I press play, I hear my click track. Brilliant. Next step, open up the mixer. We want to be able to see the click track in the mixer because we want to eventually add the click as a channel strip in the arrange window. The best way to do that is once we're in the mixer view, click on all. That will show you all of the uh, channels. And here we have the click. Ta-da! Now we want this click to be now in the arrange window and we're going to do that by clicking on, right click on that and then create track. Now we have here, we have the click track as a channel on the arrange window. Brilliant. If we can hear it, there it goes, bopping away. Now we now need to print this as audio. The way to do that is to go up here, file, bounce, track in place. Now make sure that the click track is selected and make sure that the metronome is on when playback. So we're going to go bounce, track in place, and it's going to just press OK. Now I've got a rather long session here, so we have a long audio file and there it is. The click track printed in the arrange window. And there we have created a click track in Logic.